everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs, and I am the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code, which provides hundreds of copy and paste code snippets for Squarespace designers to use on their clients' websites. Today we are going to be looking at how to add a table to Squarespace. So as of right now, there is not a table block that you can use, so we have to use some custom coding in order to add a table inside of Squarespace. But don't worry, there is an HTML table generator that will generate most of this code for you. The very first thing you're going to do is copy the code that I put below this video for the HTML, go to the page that you would like the table on, click Edit, Click to add a code block and paste the code in there. And what this is going to do is just wrap the code from the table generator in a box that I've named custom table. That way we can add some special styling in. Okay. And you can click save for now. Go to the HTML table generator that I've provided a link for. So this is not my website. This is a website that I found that generates tables for us. And you can create your table inside of here. Now don't worry too much about changing the font and sizing. It's going to take on the stylings inside of Squarespace. What you're more worried about is the actual content, the words, the images, the links. Now it's not going to have a Squarespace block inside of the table, but you can add again images or links inside of the boxes themselves. You can add in columns and rows if you like, just be sure to not make the table too wide or else it's not going to work well on mobile. It's gonna be very, very squished, okay? So you're just gonna double click in the box, type in whatever you would like. So I'm going to create like a sizing guide. So I'm gonna put size and we'll compare maybe UK sizes and US sizes. Okay, so here is some sizes. If I want to add in an image, then I would click this image block here, and it is going to want a link. So we're gonna actually house this image in Squarespace. So inside of your Squarespace website, go to Design, Custom CSS, and click on Manage Custom Files, and upload your image in there, and then just click on it, and it will give you the link inside of your custom CSS box. Once you've copied it, you can delete this out. We don't actually want it inside the box, we just wanted the link itself. So once you have it, you can go over to your table generator and paste it in. You can add some alternate text. This will show up if for whatever reason the image won't. Make sure you keep the aspect ratio on. Um, you can play with the widths and heights to see what works for you insert and your image will be inserted inside of there. Okay, I'm going to delete that out for now. If you want to link, you're going to highlight and click link and then you can provide the link inside of there and whether you want it to open in a new tab or not. Once you're happy with how your table looks, again focusing mainly on the content not the style itself, Make sure you have do not generate CSS selected because we don't want to have any extra code than we need and Squarespace already has our CSS already loaded up for us. So you want to click do not generate CSS and click generate and it should look like this. Okay, it shouldn't have style tags all throughout it. Okay, once you're ready, click copy to clipboard, go back to your Squarespace site and back to the code block we added. And you're just gonna delete the words code goes here and paste in the code from the table generator. 
Now it doesn't look like much right now, but that's okay. I'm gonna click done and save. And then underneath this video, I have provided all of the styling code that you need to make um, the lines and things that you want. So the text itself should already take on the font and size that Squarespace has laid out. What you're going to do is paste this code inside of here and it should look like this. So I'll show you all the different customizations you can do to make this match your site. This first bit of code just makes it fill up the whole code block, so you can leave that as is. This code makes sure that the columns are equal in width, um, so you don't have some small ones and some big ones depending on the content in there. If you don't like that, you can take that out, and then it will kind of resize depending on the amount of text in the box. This one adds some spacing around the text inside of each box so you can make it bigger or smaller. And this aligns the text into the center of each column. So you can change that to right or left if you prefer it to be right or left aligned. This next one adds a border around each block. I've made it two pixels in width. You can make that smaller or bigger and you can also change the color of it. This section pertains to the very first row, which is the heading of the table. So I've had a background of gray and a font of white. You're free to change those colors. And then the next two sections here change the color of every other row. So this is every other row starting with the second one, gives it a white background with gray text. And then this starts with every other row starting with the third row and it sets a gray background with white text. So you can change that. If you don't want any of those colorings, you can delete these right out um, and get rid of those colorings. And if you don't want the top one, you can also delete that as well. And the last section here um, is for the font size on mobile. So if we flip over to mobile, You'll see the box come up here. I've played with this font size so that all of the columns still fit. So again, if you have way too many columns or massive images or something, um, it might be really hard for your columns to actually display nicely. Um, so for instance, if I have really big font, you'll see that it just kind of goes outside of its container and it doesn't look very nice. Um, so you'll want to make sure that your font is a good size that you can still see it and your content's a good size that you can still see it, um, but it's not pushing outside of its container. Once you're happy, you can click save and you're done. If you like this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel or if you're watching this on my blog, make sure you sign up for the freebie in my footer so that you can be notified when another tutorial is posted. Until then, that is how you add a table to your Squarespace website.